Alrighty, hello everybody of the Let's Play community. I am the Blind Swordsman. You're looking at my face today because we have ended another Let's Play. I apologize. I know it said in uh, Small Saga, the finale, that I was going to do an announcement yesterday, but I totally didn't know that my wife was going to be off yesterday. So there was no way I was going to be able to make that video yesterday. And we're in a, like kind of a new location uh, in my house. This is my living room. So yeah. Um, if you've watched my Louise Mansion review, which I wouldn't recommend it, it's not that great. Um, I filmed kind of this part of the room before, but like, that's about it. So, I mean, like, I don't think it's a big deal. The office is just messy right now. So I just don't want to like deal with it and clean crap up and stuff. So I just felt like being lazy and I can't turn the camera that way because pictures of my kids are up there. So, you know, I'm just not going to put my kids on. YouTube is just not, not going to happen. So, <clears throat> and I'm a little bit sick again. So I apologize. <laughs> I apologize. But, um, we are talking today about a few different things. So <clears throat> first off, I had a few job interviews. Um, as you know, I have been working on my degree for a web and user experience at Weber State University. I've been doing that for seven years. I finished in December of last year. So just like three months ago. So I've been looking, I had a couple interviews. I just figured I'd like put water under the air. I'm not going to, or water under the air. What am I talking about? Water under the bridge. Cause I always have to preface this when like a big life thing comes. I'm not gonna stop making videos. In fact, we are making it a better way for me to be able to make videos. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say, we had a leak in our house that caused mold to happen. And so we've torn down our basement downstairs. Like the insulation up to that point, like we're at like the concrete part of our house, which is like, basically like when you build a house, and you dig a hole, the foundation is <laughs> at the very bottom of the house, but they still put the basement part surrounded around uh, with cement. So we're at that cement part, which kind of sucks, but we were going to renovate the basement anyway. And there's good news. There's a little closet that's under my stairs, under, I think, these stairs right here. And so we are going to turn that into my like gaming room. Like it's just a little space that I'll have, um, which will be great because I can close the door. I can record stuff at night. It'd be awesome. You know what I mean? It'll be great because a lot of, and also I'll be able to record in the mornings too. But basically, um, I don't know if I'll be able to practice as much after I get a new job, but I'm still going to do videos. I'm still going to make videos. I'm just telling you a job is coming, a new job, because I'm honestly, I'm sick of working two jobs. And technically I do YouTube as like a third job, which I don't treat it like that, but it does. It is like a third job. I remember Mark, I'm Marksman talking about it the other day. Like it's just, even if you're not like, um, making money off YouTube, if you have fans, which I do have fans, you know, which, you know, I call them viewers, like Josh Jepson taught me, you know, just call them viewers. You know what I mean? Just call you guys viewers because we're viewers. You know what I mean? We watch all the same stuff. We, you know, watch a lot of the same controversies happen. We're going to be talking about one in a minute, but like it's hell sometimes because it's like, People tell you you suck and then it's like, oh yeah, like now I gotta try to be better. And then like you feel like you suck just because you think you suck and then you try to do better. You know what I mean? So like I've invested so much freaking money into this stupid hobby and I've invested a lot of time into this hobby. Like I got a new graphics card because I want to make the best quality videos and I'm even testing it right now with a review that I'm going to be doing in the future and it's fantastic. I'm like, boom. Boom. Perfect, don't need to do anything with that kind of process. I've also figured out how to streamline my process, which we're, we're gonna be doing with the next two LPs that I'm gonna be doing. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna be doing two LPs, preface this. We'll talk about the, that in a second, but I do wanna talk about 
one other thing before that. But I'm just letting you know a job is going to come. And with that, I don't plan on quitting. There's going to be a time where, and I have something special planned next year because we plan on, like, just, I plan on my wife to be taking some time off a little bit um, next year. But I don't, I have no idea when that would be. But I have plans. I have a ton of plans for videos. And I'm not going to stop making those plans. Because I love making videos. I'm not probably ever going to retire. I plan on being like 60. And playing the next Zelda for whatever, you know, Nintendo console there is out there. That next RPG that's independent. You know what I mean? So, yeah. And by the way... Don't go on to RPG forums and be like, hey, I like independent RPGs because people have been bombarding me to let's play some of those RPG games. I plan on it at some point. I need to make sure I like the games first, though. And it scares me that it's just like passion projects that are not that great. Because, <laughs> like, I have my idea for my own game and I feel like it's trash. I wrote the story, I had the story written, and I think it's freaking trash. So it's just like, yeah, man, like, I don't know. But uh, we have another controversy that I'd like to go over. Just kind of talk about it. Because um, we already had the completionist. Here's controversy, I've unsubscribed, I'm not going to talk to that guy. Unless something comes out that's very redeemable about him, I'm done with the completionist. I'm done. Some Call Me Johnny and a few other review guys like Spoonie Bard is another guy I could recommend. Those guys just do YouTube and don't get caught up in controversies. I don't care what they do in their personal lives. Just don't, don't bring it out to fruition. You know what I mean? Like, if you're having this issue with the charity you have... All you had to do was pay money, dude. People are like, well, he didn't do anything illegal. Just sat there. A completionist or his dad or whatever knew what he was doing. So, yeah. I'm just done with that. I've never held YouTubers on a pedestal. But I've always given people a second chance. Because, like, you know what I mean? Like, like I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. If you don't like it, oh, well. I've always said that, like, I like who I am, and I am who I am. So, if you don't like that, that's fine. Never said that you did have to like. Like I even said in Small Saga, if you get something out of the game, and it's not necessarily the same thing I do, that's, fa that's fine. You're playing the game. It doesn't matter. We're playing this game of life. If you have a differing opinion, that's fine. I'm not going to talk to you about that. I am who I am. I'm going to be vocal about it. And I like who I am. So... I don't have a, I'm not going to fight you about it. I'm just not going to do it. Like, it, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to bring it up and say, hey, you have to be this because that's stupid. If you want that, fine. I'm more than happy to have the conversation about it. But if you're not, whatever. You know what I mean? I, I don't care about that. But it's just like, Jesus Christ has given me a second chance and I've ran with it. Like, I'm here in my own house that's on my name with two awesome kids and a wife and a family that I never thought that I'd ever have. And it's because I made changes in my life that made me better and I had second chances given to me. Even though I didn't do anything legal or stupid or anything like that. It's just, I'm, I'm a sinner and I make mistakes. You know what I mean? It's the way it is. I've made mistakes with this channel. I've made mistakes with my wife. I've made mistakes with my life. You know what I mean? But Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ give me a second chance. So I'm always going to give people a second chance. That being said, there is another controversy that I want to address. And I wanted to address it by talking instead of by typing because I don't want people to think that I'm saying something that I'm not. You know what I mean? It's about Chugga Conroy. So story time time i'm here because of the runaway guys and it's sad because they're no longer going to be a channel um i remember watching nintendo Capri sun during uh flipping spring break 
my senior year with Majora's Mask. And I watched Proton John quite a bit growing up. Like, I think from fifth, when I was 15 until I was 18, you know, that's when I watched Proton John. He was the first guy I watched. Two pioneers of this particular community we're in. But they decided to do a collab channel with Jenna Conroy. And it was the Runaway Guys. And I, it was weird. I watched Peach's Birthday Cake, which if you ever watched that LP, it's the worst board and the most boring part of the Let's Play. But I watched that and I was like, okay, I want to go do this. I bought a cheap headset, went to my dad's house. He had a Windows XP machine, downloaded Project 64, got some ROMs, downloaded Camp Studio, and I went to town. And I made my first LP, which was actually on a weekend. It was like 4.30 in the morning when I did that. But I reacted to that. You can go watch that. Here's a card to go watch that. And I might just put a card for that here. He's involved with some stuff um, with him being kind of a, a harasser, I guess, of um, the sexual kind. And look, man, I'm not condoning anything Chugga did. In fact... All the victims that had that happen to them, my heart goes out to you. One of them is Miss Ayanella. And when I heard Miss Ayanella had, like, uncomfortable things said to her, I was super sad. And I actually thought about giving up on this hobby. And I just prayed to God and I said, I don't know what to do. Because at that point, I didn't know what to do. I had no idea of what to do. And I just got an answer back quickly that's like, why do you care about somebody you don't know about what they did? And, you know, there's still issues going on that they're figuring out. And I'm not going to get into everything with this. But he was also talking to a 15-year-old when he was 19, which is not okay. It's not okay. Um, however, my issue was a long time ago. I don't know, there's rumors he got arrested. There's a ton of stuff happened. I'm done looking up this thing because I hate what's happened with this whole thing. It's turned the community against one another, and I hate that. I really hate that we're all turning against each other when we need to rise above this and be together. And so again, this is why I'm stepping up. This is why I'm like, I got a new capture card. I got a new graphics card. I made the quality better on OBS. You know, I'm trying to make the videos better. I'm trying to edit things super slowly with my reviews because I've been doing this crap for a long time too. I've been doing Let's Plays for almost 13 years and I've been doing reviews for almost seven. So I've been doing like video game content on YouTube for years. So even though I don't have the biggest following and I have a small voice, I'm a flipping guppy in this huge ocean cesspool that is the Let's Play and gaming community on YouTube, I do still feel like I have a responsibility to produce good content and to really help this community fix because we're in not a downward spiral, but we are cracking and we need more people to really hold this together. I know that there was the LP catchphrases guy that quit because he said he couldn't do it in good conscience. And I'm like, man, like Chugga Conroy inspired a ton of stuff for me to do as a let's player. Okay, I'm not going to sit here and say, in good conscience, I can't do this anymore. I had thought about that, and I thought, no. I like making Let's Plays because I like making Let's Plays. It's not because of any person. It's because I like to do it. I don't like to stream. I don't like to do things like that. You know what I mean? I'll do it once in a while, but I like making videos. I like that part of, of YouTube. It's... I like doing that. You know what I mean? And so for me, I just, I'm not going to sit here and just say, yeah, I'm done because of something somebody stupid did. 
like Ju Wario was a more of a beast, I feel like, than Chucka Conroy. And there's a video of his, and you can go watch it still. It tells you, you know, you're not stupid, you're not an idiot. And it made me feel better. Just because somebody's a monster doesn't mean you take their message as like, you know, bad advice or something. I had no idea what he was doing. I had no idea what Chugga Conroy was doing. So yeah, there's ideas I took from him. Like a ton of ideas. But I'm not going to quit Let's Playing because of what he did. That That's stupid to me. Like, it just is. This is my hobby, too. This is what I like to do. This is my thing. Nobody else in my family does this kind of thing. You know what I mean? I am alone in this. I have friends in the community. But I'm telling you, nobody else in my family does this. People try to stream and stuff, and I have tried to get friends into it. But nobody else besides me. This is my thing. But yeah. I just wanted to also say. Don't hold up people on a pedestal. Don't do that. I will say. Chugga decides to go back and make videos. And the dude. Has actually. Fixed his crap. I will give him a second chance. Because I'm not. One of those cancel culture type of people. I hate that we have cancel culture. I think there are things about it that are good. But it's a lot of toxicity. It is. Let's give the guy a chance. And let's see. But I am telling you right now. If Chugga Conroy watches this. My guy. My dad's a recovering alcoholic. I gave him a second chance. And he's been sober for a long time. I am trusting you like I'm trusting my dad to get sober. You need to fix your shit. If you don't, I'm done. I can't. I can't do it if you do it again. I want to hear your side of the story because we haven't heard that yet. And I want you to figure it out. Take time off. I think you need to do that. But you fix it. If you don't, I'm going to be very disappointed. I'm going to be very pissed. Again, I do this more for the community because, again, we're hurting. I don't do this for myself, but I'm also a man of God. It would be very hypocritical of me to just say, F that guy. And not give him a second chance. I gave the completionist a second chance. Because he had some issues with Greg, and it turns out Greg's an asshole. So it's like... Whatever. You know what I mean? He was right. I gave Pro Jared a second chance. Because there were some really serious things coming out about him, but he had receipts. So it's like, okay, I'll give you a second chance. You had receipts. If you actually do the things you were doing again, though, even though it wasn't with minors, it was still a bad thing to do. I'm done. For the completionist, he didn't even tell us anything. And then he finally told us years later, and it's like, okay, you made up for your mistakes. Great. I will give you another chance. I'm done. I can't do that with the completionist anymore. Anyways, look, whatever you decide to do, that's fine. You don't want to watch this video? I understand. I'm disappointed and pissed off that happened. But I'm not going to just give up on somebody because, because they, just because. And because they did something, you know, heinous. And then all of a sudden we find out stuff that happened a really long time ago. Again, I get it. He was 19 and she was 15. I understand. It was a long time ago. Let him fix it. But if you don't, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. It's just the way life goes. 
Anyway, that's all I had to say on it. And again, I don't want to type it out because somebody would probably use my words against me. Somebody might use my words against me anyway, but I don't care. I believe that people can change. So I'm going to give him his opportunity to try to change. He doesn't. I'm done. Sorry, I can't. But let's actually get to why you probably all are here. Sorry about that first part. I know that it's emotional and it sucks. But why are you here? You probably want to know what my next LP is going to be. Wow. Nintendo Brother slash Razor Mobius. You must be a descendant of a psychic because... We're talking on in the comments one of the parts of Small Saga because he was telling me how to say Chauvin for uh, the mole character in it. And you guess the LP that's next. I'm going to be doing Sea of Stars next. Alongside that, I'm going to be doing a side project called Aladdin. Redo Aladdin. We're going to see how everything goes. I have a couple of Super Nintendo projects coming up, so I just want to do this as a test. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, folks, thank you for listening to me. I apologize if I'm making anybody mad with my opinion. It's my opinion. You're free to have yours. I'm more than happy to have a conversation, a civil conversation about my feelings as well, if anybody wants to have one. I'm very grateful for you guys. Thank you for everything. You bring me so much joy in a time where life is hard. Life has been really hard uh, for the past little bit and stressful, but you guys don't make it stressful. And I appreciate our little community we've created. And like I said, the videos will be better because I'm responsible for everything with that. Anyway, I'll see you on two weeks from yesterday, Monday. And we'll see on we'll see of stars and Aladdin. Take care, everybody, and have a fantastic day.